This is Mrs. Appiah with Topic B for Module 2, Multiplication and Division of Integers and Rational Numbers. Lesson 10, Understanding Multiplication of Integers. The student outcomes for this lesson. Students practice and justify their understanding of multiplication of integers by using the integer game. For example, 3 times 5 corresponds to what happens to your score if you get 3 5 cards. 3 times negative 5 corresponds to what happens to your score if you get 3 negative 5 cards. Negative 3 times 5 corresponds to what happens if you're to your score if you lose 3 5 cards. And negative 3 times negative 5 corresponds to what happens to your score if you lose 3 negative 5 cards. Students explain that multiplying by a positive integer is repeated addition and that adding a number multiple times has the same effect as removing the opposite value of the same number of times. For example, 5 times 3 equals negative 5 times negative 3 and 5 times negative 3 equals negative 5 times 3. Students use properties and facts of operations to extend multiplication of whole numbers to multiplication of integers. In example one, the product of a positive integer and a negative integer. Fill in part A with these card values, 3, negative 2, negative 5, and 4. These are the card values in your hand. Now, we're going to draw two more cards. Those two more cards are negative 5 and negative 5. Use your cards from Part B to answer the questions below. Write a product that describes the three matching cards. So our three matching cards are negative 5, negative 5, and negative 5. The product is how that cards will affect your score. So we have three cards and they have a value of negative 5. Write an expression that represents how each of the cards changes your score. The score is going to decrease by 5 three consecutive times. So the expression would be negative 5 plus negative 5 plus negative 5. That score decreases by 5 three consecutive times. Write an equation that relates these two expressions. So our first expression was 3 times negative 5, and that is going to decrease your score by 15 points. Then the second expression was negative 5 plus negative 5 plus negative 5. Negative 5 plus negative 5 decreases your score by 10, plus another negative 5 decreases your score by 15. So this expression decreases your score by 15, and so does 3 times negative 5. Since the expressions are equal to each other, they, are the, they will make an equation that is equivalent. So we have negative 5 plus negative 5 plus negative 5. And that has the same value as 3 times negative 5. Write an integer that represents the total change to your score by the three cards. So the total change to your score is a decrease in 15 points. Write an equation that represents the product and how it affects your score. The equation is 3 times negative 5, and it's multiplication because they're asking for a product, and it affects your score by decreasing it by 15 points. In part C, write these card values. Negative 1, 5, negative 3, and 4. In part D, write these card numbers. Negative 1, 5, negative 3, 4, 4, 4, 4, and 4. So part C is having these four cards in your hand. And then part D is when you pick up an additional four cards. Write a product that describes the five matching cards. So in our hand now, we have five matching cards, and they are a four. So a product that would match those cards would be five cards times a value of four points each. 
Write an expression that represents how each of the star cards changes your score. With your first card, you're going to have four points. Then with your second card, you're going to have eight points. With your third card, you're going to add 12 points. With your fourth card, you add 16 points. And with your fifth card, you add a total of 20 points. So you're adding four points with every consecutive card you pick up. Write an equation that represents these two expressions. So your first expression was 5 times 4, and that has a value of increasing your score by 20. The second expression is 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4, which also has a value of increasing your score by 20 points. So relating the two expressions, the expressions are equal. Write an integer that represents the total change of your score by the five cards. So whether you multiply five times four or whether you add four five times, the integer that represents the change in your score is 20 points. Write an equation that relates the product and how it affects your score. So the product is the multiplication. We have five cards times a value of four each, and the product is 20 and that increases your score. Use the expression 5 times 4 to relate the multiplication of a positive value card to addition. Multiplying a positive integer card is repeated addition of the positive integer card and it increases your score. Use the expression 3 times negative 5 to relate the multiplication of a negative value card to addition. Multiplying a negative card is repeated addition of the negative number and decreases your score. Example 2, the product of a negative integer and a positive integer. If all the 4s from the playing hand above are discarded, what will this, how will the score be affected? Model this using the product in an equation. Discarding three cards with a value of four. So we have negative three, that's the discarding the three cards, and they each have a value of four. And that is going to result in a decrease in your score by 12 points. The score decreases by four three consecutive times for a total decrease of 12 points. What three matching cards could be added to the picture to get the same change in score? model this product using an equation. So here, we are looking for the opposite of the above. Here, you were discarding, and now you want to add those cards. So we're looking for the opposite. We want to add three cards of negative four points each. And that would look like adding three cards would be a positive three, and the value of the card is a negative. So adding three cards that are negative will also decrease your score by 12 points. So you can take away three cards that have a value of four and that will lower your score by 12. Or you could add three cards that have a value of negative four and decrease your score by 12. Adding negative four three consecutive times decreases your score by 12 points. Seeing how each play affects the score, relate the products that you use to model them. So the product that we used to model the first one was negative 3 times 4, and it had a value of negative 12. The second one was 3 times negative 4, and it has a value of negative 12. So relating those products to each other, since they both have a product of negative 12, that means that these equations or these expressions are equal to each other. So negative 3 times 4 is equivalent to 3 times negative 4. What do you conclude about multiplying integers with opposite signs? The equations are equivalent to each other. Uh, let's go back to our question. What do you conclude about multiplying integers with opposite signs? And that answer is here below. 
multiplying numbers with opposite signs will equal a negative number. Multiplying numbers with opposite signs will equal a negative number. Example 3, product of two negative integers. If the matching cards from the playing hand above are discarded, how will this hand score be affected? Model, the, model this using a product in an equation. So we have discarding four negative twos. These are our matching cards, and we're going to discard those. When you discard it, that is a negative value. And we are discard, discarding four negative twos. The effect that that score has on your hand is that it's going to decrease your score by two each time. When you discard a negative, it increases your score. You discard a negative, your score goes up again by two. You discard a negative, it goes up again by two. And you discard a negative, it goes up again by two. So when you discard the negative cards, you are increasing your score. It increases by eight points. What four matching cards could be added to the picture so that to get the same change in score? You could add four cards of two points each. So the four cards would be the number of cards you're adding and the value on the card is a positive two. So with every two that you add to your hand, you increase your score by two. So you would increase it by two, four, six, eight. Four times two equals eight. Seeing how each play affects the score, relate the products that you use to model them. So the products are the same. You get a value of eight. What do you conclude about multiplying integers with the same sign? So our first equation was negative four times negative two, and that had a value of negative eight. Our second equation also had a value of eight, which means that this equation, this expression, is equivalent to this expression. So a positive four times two is also equal to a positive eight. They both have a value of eight, and that makes them equivalent to each other as well. So you can conclude that if the signs are the same, the product will be positive. If the signs are the same, the product will be positive. So a negative times a negative gives you a positive, and a positive times a positive gives you a positive. Using the conclusions from example two and three, what can we conclu conclude about multiplying integers? And write a few examples. So first, from example three above, we can conclude that if you have a positive times a positive, it equals a positive, such as four times two equals eight. And if you have a negative times a negative, such as negative four times negative two, you will get a positive result. From example two, we learned that opposite signs have a product that is negative. For example, a positive times a negative, such as three times negative four, will have a value that is negative. And a negative times a positive is negative, such as negative three times four equals negative 12. In this lesson, you have learned Multiplying integers is repeated addition and can be modeled with the integer game. If three times A corresponds to what happens to your score, if you get three cards with the value of A, then negative three times A corresponds to what happens to your score if you lose three cards with the value of A. Adding the number multiple times has the same effect as removing the opposite value the same number of times. For example, a times B is equal to the opposite of A times the opposite of B. And A times the opposite of B equals the opposite of A times B.